Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Sound Test Stream. Today we are taking a look at Logic Pro for iPad and the drum synth. Drum synth is an instrument you can load uh, just like any other MIDI instrument. Um, if you hit this little plus button here, you get this page and you know this page is when you create a new track, etc. Go to, if you, it's already there because I've just opened it, but if you want to find it, you go here and then here, instruments drums and there it is drum synth and you can create a new drum synth so we've got two of them now so let's focus on this one drum synth is is really marvelous let's open up oh the tiles view gives you uh, access to three of the parameters tone saturation i'm playing this with my MIDI keyboard at the moment and you'll hear it's chromatic as well and pitch. Double tap to reset the tile. Double tap on the drum synth icon to open the synth itself. Right now, it's really, really powerful this, right? So your first category here, which will open up as a default as a kick. But if you select here, right, you get snares and claps, percussion, hats and cymbals, right? So you've got loads of things, but within each of those categories, so sound module is heavy kick. You can open this and you can go right. Okay, well, hard kick. Punch. you got volume here. Air. I'll turn the microphone down. and tight kick just for a moment let's go back to the default heavy kick you have we'll go from left to right okay so we have pitch again here tone saturation these are the three controls that are in the tile view shape sweep here volume mono poly and gate right let's explain this now let's go a little bit further up the keyboard let's increase the decay if i go into poly mode now i can play it polyphonically as as you would expect if we go into gate if i quickly tap the key and let go It'll gate the sound. And if I hold the key, it will ring out. Now you can, of course, access all of this from the play surface as well. And you'll see that it's chromatic. So if we don't want it to be chromatic and we just want it to be, let's get a kind of a, let's go back into mono. Let's say uh, decrease the decay a little bit. Maybe add some saturation. If we don't want it to track uh, chromatically, if we switch this off, key tracking, then wherever we play on the keyboard will be the root sound of that note. So it, it won't matter, for example, if we go into keyboard here. It's all going to be the same across the keyboard. Okay. So you, you kind of get that. If you want it to be lower, of course, you can control your pitch tone, etc. with this. So let's move on to the next sound category here, which is snares and claps. Okay. A similar bunch of controls. We have different sound modules, lots of different ones as well for this. Uh, let's go to air snare. We still have the key tracking. Tone, body, dirt. We 
volume, etc. Let's see what we've got here. Electronic snare. Kind of a clap. So loads of design control there. A synthetic side stick. Gritty snare. Human clap. These can also, if you add a load of these open, these can also be added to your uh, drum um, drum machine designer if you want. Or you can just record them in via MIDI as you normally would. Okay, so we've got percussion. This is very cool. So you can all, you can, if we tune this up, right? So let's see. That's tone, sorry. actually almost make an instrument with it as well and again with this we have metal machine Nice 80s cowbell. And of course we can tracking off and it's not going to change pitch as we move up and down the keyboard we have oh now this one of my favorites membranes this behaves uh, a lot like kind of physical modeling Nice. And if we go up a little bit in pitch, uh, um, put poly on, maybe increase the decay a little bit. You've got a really nice kind of. You can make some nice, really nice instruments. So we have in the percussion we have tight tom so you can see shaker And then we have hats and cymbals. So these are kind of electronic. A 
it's a crash ride cymbal. Smooth hi-hat. No option to play this one chromatically, but there is loads of control over the sound, of course. Very cool air. You have sharp hi-hat. And there is key tracking on this one. And the last one is bell symbol. So there you go. And then, of course, you can just go in and add them into your piece of music or whatever. So there's a basically a tutorial on drum synth, which is really, really, really good. I mean, tons of options inside. Very good. Anyway. There you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's drum synth inside Logic Pro. Hope you, if you've got Logic Pro, go and check it out and have a, a play around with it because you really can add some really nice stuff to your already existing projects by programming your own drums, basically, and getting getting pretty close to a, a kind of a, a feel for the drum sound that you're maybe looking for, you know. And also it's good for double and up drum sounds as well, so you might want to reinforce, for instance, this kind of kick with an unlocked kick you may already have. Of course you can, if you want to play them chromatically as well, which is like, we had a look with the metallic stuff and things like that. It's good for creating kind of physical model sounds. Very nice, very nice indeed. Anyway, there you go. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you later. Ta -da.